So just about set. And now the DH, J.D. Martinez. Leading off for the Dodgers, the designated hitter, J.D. Martinez. The pitch. That one's in there. And that's how this game gets started. 8 5 And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. And the righty deals. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. And now one away. Well, that pitch wasn't even close to being a strike, and that just goes to show you how defensive hitters can become when they're up against an 0-2 count. You're just hoping for a mistake somewhere near the zone that you can get the bat to, but right there, he was clearly anxious. He was swinging when the ball left the hand. Sends it to first. Quick start here this evening. Two out, top of the first. Freddie Freeman steps to the plate for the Dodgers. Good contact guy, good defender. And the first pitch misses for ball one. That's a really good take right there. Slider down and in. Very difficult to get on the same plane and do anything with. Right. Really. Next offering is in for a strike. Here comes a pitch. And that's outside. And a pitch. Swings and misses. Two balls, two strikes to count with two outs. The wide to kick the pitch. Popped up to the left, into foul ground. Witt makes the catch, and that'll do it. Nothing doing for the Dodgers here, and now the Royals will get their first shot in a scoreless ball game. It's Major League Baseball on the show. Bottom of the first. So up now for Kansas City, Bobby Witt Jr. Leading up for the Royals, the third baseman. Bobby and a pitch. Witt Jr. That one misses, and that is ball one. The pitch just missed. And here it comes. Swing and a miss as he was out front. And he really sells the changeup with that arm action. Kicks and deals. A little out front there as he swings through it. Built the changeup right there. Just pulled the string. Now all even up. And a base hit up the middle. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. Not ones in the cage, stop. you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity, right on top of it. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. McKinney picks over, and he's back in easily. pitch that's in there and a count one and one this is one of those situations the infielders have to pre-plan and understand that the ball's going to be hit extremely hard right at them if they're going to have a chance to go for a double play McKinney keeping him close nobody out runner at first next one misses and it's two and one. There's a strike. And that's a great take right there. Even though it's a strike, with the situation, runner on first base, you want to keep the ball off the ground. And you swing at that pitch, most likely you roll into a double play. Stays alive. And the pitch. That's out to center field. Taylor on the move. Racing makes the catch. And there's one down. 
And to the play for Kansas City, Vinny Pasquantino. Vinny Pasquantino. Here's the pitch. Runner goes. That's in for a strike. Throw is low, and he can't pick it. Well, a nice lead and a nice steal there to get in the scoring position with the heart of the order at the plate. That might just lead them to pitching around these hitters a little more because of the open base, but it's early in this ball game. Can't imagine it'll change the attack plan too much. Next pitch, not close, up high. Well, the best way to shake off yesterday's struggles is to get on the board early. They've got a guy in scoring position. They've got to find a way here to get him in. At the belt and fires. Foul ball. Witt leads off second with one gone in the inning. Next pitch just misses. And the count is even two and two. Time called. The two two will have to wait just a second. Two two now. Good eye right there. Got him. And there's two down. Thought it was a pretty good pitch. Top of the strike zone. We're seeing more fastballs in that location. Hitters, especially with two strikes, have to be ready to pull the trigger. Now it's Fran Mill Reyes. First pitch just misses. Two outs and one in scoring position. Foul ball there. Kicks and fires. And it is two and one. Runner leads away at second. That one ran inside, almost got him. Well, with this many pitches thrown here in this first inning, I mean, you're giving the other team a really good look. He's going to have to find a way to get some weak contact, maybe a swing and miss, get into that dugout and hit the reset button. Runner at second, two down. And a swing and a miss, and that's that. All set for the start of the inning, and now it's Mookie Betts. The right-hander back to work. Mookie Betts. Ripped into left center, base hit. And the leadoff man aboard. Well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. That's a good sound coming off the bat, man. And as he connected out front and lifted it into the outfield, that's one of those swings where you just don't even feel the ball hit the barrel. That's a pure stroke. Next offering is in for a strike. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of a double play here. Carl Dixon working the plate in this one. You know, we often hear and talk about umpires being a pitcher's umpire, but Boo Dixon, maybe a little bit more hitter friendly than most. He's kind of tight on the corners, so we'll see if that comes into play at all in this one. On the ground, could be two. To second, there's one and two. In time to first for the double play. The batter now will be Will Smith. Swings through that one. 0-1. Second inning here, no score. Next one off the plate inside. One ball, one strike. And that one is lifted in the air. Reyes makes the catch, and that'll do it. Welcome back. And now it's Salvador Perez to the plate. Leading up for the Royals, the catcher, Salvador Perez. The pitch. And takes low for ball one. He needs a quick one, two, three this time around. Last inning through a lot of pitches. Next pitch misses, and it's 2-0. Oh. Oh. 
And another ball. Let's see if he gives him anything to hit here. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. Definitely lost the handle during that sequence. Four pitches for the walk. And that last one didn't even threaten his own. Catcher might want to go talk to him. Here's Hunter Dozier to the dish. In the air, foul off first. And he makes the catch. And there's one down. And next up for the Royals, Edward Olivares. The center fielder, Edward Olivares. First offering, misses the mark. Good miss with that changeup away. He needs a ball on the ground for a double play. Minimize the potential threat right here. On the hitter side, nice job of laying off that pitch. And a 1-0. Swing and a miss. And a pitch. Perez over at first with one away. Now it's even up. Threw that fastball right by him, slightly elevated. That's a confidence boost for this guy out there on the mound. See if he continues to climb the ladder. Nice stop. The throw. Throw off line. He's safe. And a nice job there to keep it from getting away. So up next, Brent Rooker. Rooker. And first offering is fouled off. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. And now the lefty. Nothing, nothing here in the bottom of the second. Out. And it hit him. He had two strikes on him, and he hit him. Oh, there's no hiding in this spot. The base is loaded now, and no more wiggle room for any more mistakes like that. And now it's Matt Duffy. Ripped on a line. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. Runner tagging from third. Just ahead of the throw, he scores. And it's 1-0. Sometimes that can be a little tough to score on. It was hit so hard that getting back to the bag, the tag, takes a little bit of time by the time that outfielder catches it, but a really good job of getting that run in from third. Back to the top of the lineup. Next to hit, Bobby Witt Jr. And Boog, I'd say he's due. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Now he steps out as time is granted. is blasted way back there on its way gone he'll touch them all and they boost their lead it's four nothing Breaking ball on the inside part of the plate requires a hitter to stay really square with his mechanics. If you fly open with the front shoulder, there's no way you keep that ball fair. An outstanding job mechanically. He deserves that home run. And stepping in is the speedy Samad Taylor. Up next He's 0 for 1. Not shortstop. Samad. Next pitch is popped up. Freeman makes the catch, and that'll do it. But the big blow of the inning comes right here. A three-run homer. It's now a 4 nothing ball game. And welcome back. Top half of the third inning, David Peralta at the plate. Leading off for the Dodgers. Line drive. That's a base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. 
And up next for Los Got Angeles, Yorbit Vivas. Yorbit Vivas. This to third. Witt gathers and throws to first. And one away in the top of the third. Eddie Slayanov steps to the plate for the Dodgers. Eddie Slayanov. First offering misses badly for ball one. One out and a runner at second. The next pitch misses, and that's ball two. And there's the strike. Nasty 2-0 slider there for a strike. That tells you he's got a lot of confidence in that pitch. And a 2-1 on the way. Shoots a line drive single into right center. Reyes fires it to the plate. The tag out. Well, I can understand how they want to be aggressive against this guy. Try to get those runs early because if you don't, you may not get them later on. But you just have to do a better job of picking your spots. Outstanding job by the defense. They know who's on the ball for them. If they can get the outs defensively, they're going to move through this game pretty well. Martinez batting for the second time, and that's strike one. The 0-1 is outside, and it's a ball and a strike. Talking about Martinez, he's one of the best fastball hitters in the game. Yeah, some guys are concerned about velocity, but he embraces it. Clearly, he was geared up for the fastball right there. Maybe got a little jumpy and excited yep. out of the hand, but he certainly didn't miss a stitch. The pitch. That misses off the outside edge. 3-2, two, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitter's got to stay focused. And he got him. Strike three, and that'll retire the side. So the Dodgers leave one. They're down 4 nothing. Back here at the ballpark, and now Vinny Pasquantino. Leading up for the Royals, the first baseman, Vinny. And a pitch. Pasquantino. That's in there. pitch and now the count is even left-hand batter waits pitch misses outside two and one left-hand hitter waits liner base hit so a runner aboard to start the inning. Right there, he does a great job of staying in the big no part right of the field. Man, there are a lot of hits there. Andre Jackson gets the ball now. Reyes. Stepping in, Ron Mil Reyes. First offering and it just misses. Pasquantino gets his lead at first. Nobody out. Pitch misses there. Two balls, no strikes to count. Well, usually a high level of confidence when you're facing a young pitcher out there on the mound. In this situation, ahead 2-0. He's put himself in a really good spot. That one's spoiled, and the count now 2-1. And there's a foul ball. Next pitch inside, and that's ball three. Rudder at first with no outs here. Swag and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. 
But that kind of velocity and elevated fastball, even the if it's still in the 13. strike zone, can be tough for hitters to get on top of. Oh, and at first, and here's the catcher, Salvador Perez. He walked and came around to score his first time up. Fouled off. He was late. Right-hander kicks, deals. And that one hammered. That's back. And that one's gone. Salvador Perez leaves the yard, and they add to their lead. It's 6-0. Not every home run is a majestic blast off the bat, and even though he hit it pretty well, it was anything but a sure thing to get out. But today, the conditions were right. He got just enough of it, and I think the backspin really helped that thing carry. Hunter Dozier steps in for the Royals. 0 for 1 as he popped out the foul to first. Hunter. First pitch, Dozier. and he just misses. Right-handed reliever. And there's the strike. And that's downstairs and outside. Still only one out here in the inning. Next offering misses. And the count is three and one. And the right-hander deals. And a foul ball. A wind of the pitch. And a foul ball. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. Out. Number two. I'm not sure that was the exact location the pitcher wanted, but the it worked. Field. He got the Number swing 14. and miss, and I'm sure it's a bit of sigh of relief after oh, seeing that one go right. through the zone. Fought off foul. The wind of the pitch. Slice down the right side. Right into the plate. And ball one. The wind of the pitch. Comes up empty as he chases that one in the dirt. In time, the 2 3 strikeout ends the inning. Two run shot for the Royals this inning. It's now a 6 0 ball game. as we go to the top of the fourth. And at the plate for the Dodgers, Chris Taylor. Swing and a high fly ball, pretty well struck right field. That's back there. Grabs it right up against the wall. He was all over that first pitch fastball, just barely missed it. Man, this guy was ready to hit. Freeman, batting with one down, takes a strike. The wide to kick the pitch. That one pushed to the left and foul. Here comes a pitch. Got him swinging. He chased the changeup, and there's two down. Two outs, space is now empty. Batting. Now Mike it's Mookie Mookie. Betts. Mookie. Bet. First pitch, just misses. And the righty deals. Swung on, belted. And it hits the fence. 
Duffy relayed a second in there. That's a double. Just missed out on a home run yeah, right there, but he the certainly hit it hard enough. Just three. didn't have the right launch angle to carry it over the wall, but still an excellent swing of the bat. Could be a chance here for them to start clawing back into this ballgame. Now here is Trace Thompson. Bounce to the left side. Witt over to first. And that'll do it. To the bottom of inning number four now. It's the Royals six and the Dodgers nothing. So the Dodgers have a new arm on the mound. Ryan Pepio. He comes in with his team trailing by a bunch, so he'll try to keep it where it is. Well, at this point in the ball game, we're talking about middle innings, and he made a little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. Welcome back. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. So up now for Kansas City, Brent Rooker. Rooker. And here it comes. Pitch misses inside, and it's 1 0. The Dodgers bullpen with some action. Alex Reyes looks to be getting ready for manager Dave Roberts. Next pitch is outside. Kicks and fires late on that fastball as a hitter you got to learn something from that pitch you clearly wasn't timed up on the fastball in a 2-0 count you have to be ready to do damage next offering is down low swings and blasts one deep to left center that's back that's back some more and that is gone he sends a rocket to left, and they tack on to their lead. It's 7-0. That's their third home run of the game. They're having a lot of fun at the plate in this one. They've got the long ball working for them on autopilot. Knew what pitch he wanted to hit, spent on some other pitches in this at bat, was very patient, and it paid off. Duffy steps in for the Royals. Time asked for at the plate, the and he gets it. The second baseman, Matt Duffy. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. And a pitch. That's the third. And it gets by him. Just found a way to slap that ball down the third baseline. That's really excellent back control. And it kind of goes back to all those drills you see hitters do off the tee where it's placed in different spots. That was just nice. Now here's Bobby Witt Jr. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing to want. Swings through that one. With the big bats coming up and a home run already surrendered. He's really going to have to execute against these next couple of batters. The pitch. That missed inside. Going to count one and two. And he deals. Swing and a miss. And he struck him out. And one out now. Man at first. And to the plate for Kansas City, Savant Taylor. Taylor. Swings through that one. 0-1. On the mound, you take a note. You see the hitter's willingness to chase that pitch upstairs. Get deeper in the count. Try to climb the ladder. Oh, right to the backstop. Throw to second. Not in time. He's there easily. The 1 1. This one popped up. Foul ground first base side. Makes the grab on the run. Two down. And next up for the Royals, Vinny Pasquantino. The first baseman, Vinny 
First pitch, not close. And it's fouled away. Duffy at second with two down. That misses. Two balls and a strike. Man at second. Fouls one off. Two and two. Two outs. And that one wrapped foul. The 2 2. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Now he's desperately looking for that swing and miss. He's going to have to just change speeds a little bit, try to move it around, create just a. Swing and this one's blasted. It's got a chance. It one hops off the wall. Should be extra bases. He's in safely at second as a run scores. Well, they call that an advantage count for a reason. You're so much more likely to get something you can handle. Put a really I'm nice like balanced swing on it. And when you can rope Love one me. into the gap like that, you're thinking oh, yeah. extra bases from the first couple of steps out of the box. And he'll feel real good about that one. The 1 0. Struggled a little bit in this one. A couple of strikeouts earlier, but doing a much better job in this at bat to get ahead and find a good hitter's count at 2 0. Next pitch inside, and now 3 0. The strategy of winning a ball game, when you can make that pitcher work a little more, expose himself by throwing pitches, that could be the key to winning perhaps later on. So, good job of extending. Reaching for it, makes the catch. We played four. Royals eight. So the Royals bring on a new arm, Luke Weaver. And he'll try to keep this big lead right where it is. They know that he can get a right-hander out, but he's in position to face a couple of lefties this inning. We go to the top of the fifth, and at the plate for the Dodgers, Will Smith. Leading off for the Dodgers. The pitch. The catcher, Will. Bottom of the zone Smith. and a called strike. You'll want. Swing and a foul, pushed off to the right. Next one in the dirt. Kicks and deals. Swings and sends a rocket to right. And it's caught for the out. Not fooled at all right there. He was clearly all over it. But sometimes you hit it too hard and right at someone. You're looking for one of those bloop hits to get a knock sometimes. Into center and a base hit. So a man aboard now with one away. And now, Yorbit Vivas. Now batting, the third baseman, Yorbit Vivas. First offering, oh, misses the mark. And a pitch. There's a swing and a drive. That one's deep. Pulls it in on the warning track. Eddie Leonard now digs batting. in down. The shortstop. Eddie's. And that's in there for strike one. Righty delivers. This one popped up. And gobbled up by Duffy. And that's the inning.
Now they turn to Alex Reyes. And we'll see how he performs in this situation with his team down big. And now the catcher comes up to him. Salvador Perez. And a pitch. And that's outside. At the belt and fires. Swing and a pop up. Foul territory for the catcher. One down. Now so here's the Royals the DH. Hitter. Hunter Dozier. Dozier. Popped up. Foul territory behind the plate. And that's a foul ball. The next offering misses, and the count is one and one. They tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away. The pitch comes up empty. That's strike two. Cold night tonight, Boog, and that's a pretty firm fastball right there. I tell you what, memories of getting jammed, they are creeping into my mind right now. Next pitch misses, and a full count now. Swings through that one, it's a strikeout. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. Edward Olivares steps in for the Royals. Edward Olivares. Rolled over to third. Over to first. Inning over. New pitcher in the game for the Royals, Ryan Burr. He has a great slider with tons of movement. Oops, throw goes to third. Uh-oh, wrong base as it goes to third. Oops, throw goes to third. And welcome back. Top of the sixth inning. Now here is J.D. Martinez. The designated hitter, J.D. Here comes a pitch. That one's in there. That's strike one. Both you and I know how much attention to detail that J.D. Martinez pays. Kind of makes me think of Albert Pujols, who has been called the machine at times during his career. I venture to say you could put J.D. Martinez in that same category, at least the way he approaches his craft. Right-handed reliever. Slider misses outside. For J.D. Martinez, his teammate, when they won it all in 2018, Ian Kinsler called him the mad scientist. So... Maybe the machine and the mad scientist. Oh, tough night at the dish. Punching out for the third time right there. He just hasn't looked very comfortable at the plate. A little unsure of his timing right now. Not picking up the spin and location of these pitches. We'll have some adjustments to make. Olivares brings it in. Two away down. Here comes Freddie Freeman up to hit. The first baseman, Freddie Freeman. Nicky Lopez now in the game as he takes over third. Now playing third base, number eight, Nicky. Also into the ball game, number 11. He's in at shortstop. Also entering the game, Nick Prado. He takes over as the new first baseman. Number 34, Nick. Also into the ball game, Mitch Longo. He takes over and right.
Also entering the game, Drew Waters. He'll be patrolling center field. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Number six, Drew Waters. One and no to Freddie Freeman. Swing and a base hit. And that keeps the inning going. Just so sound in his mechanics. Hits against a firm front side. And the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field. So two down. Here's Mookie to hit. He has, as they like to say, light tower power. Not a big guy, but a big swing. And thunder in that bat. And the 1 0. Chris, one of the things about Mookie, he really hits the outside pitch well. Well, pitchers know he can hit the outside pitch so well that now as a pitcher, you have to throw it off the plate away. And if he has got good plate discipline, you find yourself falling behind in the count and walking batters. Hammered on a line to the left, base hit. And it gets by him. They stopped the lead runner at second. Now two on with two outs. Having himself a really nice game at the plate. Maybe a little out front of the pitch right there, but he squared it up pretty good, and he kept it inside the line. And just a really nice job on the other side by the defense to hold that to a long single. And now, Trace Thompson. Pitch misses inside, and that's ball one. Rocketed out towards right center. Drops in for a hit. Couldn't run it down. One run is in. Flying around third is Betts. Now a relay to the plate. He beats it safe. And they're on the board, but lots of ground to make up. And it's scoring position with two away. And up to the plate is Will Smith. First pitch, and he just misses. Runner leads away at second. And that one fouled off. And a pitch. And a ball evens the count. Bounced up the middle. Duffy collects. Fires to first on the run. Inning ends. And that stops the bleed. New pitcher on here. Brewstar Grotterol. And this guy could bring it velocity-wise. The wind of the pitch. Tapped at the plate, but it's a foul ball. And the right-hander deals. That one missed. The wind of the pitch. Just missed. Righty to the plate. That one fouled off two and two. Right-hander kicks, deals. And now the count filled up three and two. Here comes a three-two. And there's ball four. Boo, do you think you could draw a walk in the bigs if we gave you enough at-bats? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I think that if they gave the pitcher a full scouting report on me, yes, I think I could draw a walk. And that one gets past the catcher. The 1-0. That one fouled off. And one and two. That was straight queso right there. And here it comes. And it's even up. <laughs> Nicky Lopez up to the plate. The third baseman, number eight, Nicky Lopez. In there, and it's 0-1. Left-hand hitter waits. That misses the zone. Ball one. K-1. 
kicks and fires. A little bit low. Rooker, the runner at second with one away. And down on strikes. And now two gone. So up now for Kansas City, number 11. Now batting, number 11. In the air, center field. And that is that. So one left for Kansas City. They lead it 8-2. Welcome back. We're in the seventh. We have a new pitcher on the mound, Josh Taylor. And a healthy sized lead for him to go to work with. Top of inning number seven. Now the left fielder, David Peralta. MJ Melendez. The new catcher now. Also into the ball game, Kyle Isbell. He'll be out in left field. Number 29. Also entering the game, Michael Massey. He'll play second at the pitch. And there's a ball. Well, on paper, it's favorable to have a fairly quick inning here with two of the three hitters he's set to face batting from the left side, same side he throws from. Next offering is in for a strike. Left-hand batter waits. Falling behind two and one. And now the lefty. Good eye in that spot. Fouls one away and now three and two. The pitch. Swings and crushes one. Right field way back and gone. He flexes his power with that swing. That's his 99th career homer. And they cut into the deficit. It's 8-3. He's so good at getting his arms extended, and that's exactly what he did right there. You don't typically want to pull a pitch in that part of the plate, but he doesn't allow his wrist to roll over, stays through the ball, gets the loft, and gets the home run. And next for L.A., Yorbit Vivas. Now batting, third base. Next Your pitch has popped up. Viva. Lopez racing over to make the catch. Now batting, the shortstop, Eddie. Eddie Slayano steps to the plate for the Dodgers. Swing and a tapper that rolls foul. The pitch. Line to left. Diving, gets down, could be extra bases. And he's got a double. Good two strike hitting right there, Boog. A bit of a lost start for some, so that was nicely done to beat the odds. Solid swing from start to end. On time with everything. Really good balance. Nice extension. And he met it out front for the line drive knock. Runner at second here, one gone. Swing and a miss. And it's a ball to strike. And another ball. On the ground to short. And they got him. Now a move being made for a pinch hitter. Jason Hayward looking for a two out hit with a runner in scoring position. And the first offering is not close. Now playing second base. 
Number that's hard hit in the line. Jason. And makes the play, and that's out number three. Solo shot for the Dodgers this inning. It's now 8-3. We're back in a new pitcher here to start the bottom of the seventh. J.P. Fireisen. Big deficit here, but he's still got a job to do. J.P. And a pitch. Nick Prado in the box now as he leaves that one up high. Number 15, Austin Barnes. The one one. And this is inside. Way upstairs, and the count's full. And that's just foul. They all pitch, and he walked him. What a battle. It's not always easy laying off a 3-2 pitch, and I tell you what, he earned that walk. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Mitch Longo. Came into the game on defense, so his first trip to the plate here. And fouled off. Prado on at first, nobody out. Oh, and two as he waves at that one. Don't play situation here. He's been working up in the zone. Typically, you look for guys to get that ground ball, see if he adjusts on this next pitch. And the righty deals. And a foul ball. Hand up as he asks for time at the plate. And he deals. Stays alive. Line drive, and that should be extra bases. And that's going to get into the corner. Prado around third. The throw in. The run scores from first, extending their lead, and it's now a six-run lead. The throw to third, and he's out trying for three. The triple is arguably the most exciting play in baseball, and a guy's worked so hard to get around first, to get around second, to get thrown out at third. Man, you just feel bad for him. On top of that, he's already in scoring position, so you think about how it kind of hurts the team as well. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. Andy O2. And a foul ball. He stays alive. And that one fouled off. One down. Base is empty. That one misses. It's a ball and two strikes. Oh. 
and a pitch. And that just misses. No, he's not afraid to fall into a two strike count. Knows the strike zone very well. So much so that I think umpires will look at him and determine whether it's a ball or strike if he swings or not. Swings and misses and two away now. Two outs, space is empty. Sebastian now Rivera the now at the plate. Sebastian. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. pitch swing and a miss and he chases that one in the dirt and it's in time for the third out so that'll end the inning so the Royals bring on a new arm Josh Stamont and he's got a nice lead to work with Dave Roberts turning to his bench for a new bat Rene Rivera uh oh wrong base as it goes to third the pitch that clips the corner. Yeah, now the one. Right field down the line, and that one slices down. 